Well, hello everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art and welcome to our paint party. We're happy to have you join us. If you're brand new, certainly we welcome you. If you're a new subscriber, we thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're just a viewer passing through, we welcome you as well. But we certainly encourage you to join us and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be a part of this amazing art party with us. We have a 12 by 24 inch canvas and I have already laid the foundation paint down. It is a combination of Blit Acrylic Titanium White along with the Amsterdam um, Van Dyke Brown. Just a bit of it to get this sort of creamy, sandy, creamy looking beige color. I'm gonna pop the air bubbles and look for any uninvited guests because we don't wanna have anybody or anything that's not going to help us improve or come out with a beautiful foundation for our layering colors. So we're always looking for things that could disrupt or interrupt our paint party. We are happy to have you be a part of it and I hope you're gonna join us and Pull out your colors when you get done watching this video and see what you can do to make something totally awesome as well. Okay, a little something there. We're going to make sure it's not going to be a problem. So to introduce our layering colors, this is going to be a wild one, I tell you. Hopefully it's going to be stunning. We have the Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. Liquid takes Liquitex Basics Bronze Artist Loft Parchment Artist Loft Copper Lit Acrylic Mars Black and the Artist Loft Old Gold. So I suspect we will have beautiful cells. I may also throw in some of this Liquitex Basics Silver Argent. Just haven't decided. But let's go ahead and get going with our design. We'll start over here, come here, here, and over there. Opening it up just a little wider so that we can squeeze out the paint with ease. That's so much better. We'll break out here and let's see. How about we do a breakout here and one there? All right, cool. We'll follow along with our bronze on top. And already I can see how pretty this is going to be. All right. I love these Loli Veffi squeeze bottles because they have a turn twist top. My problem is I don't always turn it enough to open. That's the parchment. This is the copper. So, so pretty. We have our Mars Black. How about we do this old gold on top of that? Oh, it's looking really nice and rich. Colors are really popping already. And I'm just going to take a chance and do the silver with it. We'll see what happens with this. Surely we will. And, woohoo! I don't know if I need to wrap back around because we've got very dark colors in with the black, the bronze, the copper, and all that. So, I think I'll torch tap out some of our colors that kind of moved out of the way 
off our design. And woo wee, pretty. I'm a little nervous because these are rich, rich, rich colors, and I like rich colors, but they're dark, rich colors. So I think what I'm going to try to do is start on my right side and normally go to my left. And there's no personal preference per se, but just see where we go with this. Let's try this and see what happens. They are just unbelievable. So, so pretty. Beautiful. Holy smokes. Mmm. Love it. Let's take our little stick around and see what we can do to. That is really very pretty. It's forming. You can see all of the cult, the gold the copper, the bronze, not too much black. I'm really thankful for that because I didn't want black to just overload and take over. But it is just darling. Love, love, love the base color as well. These colors have really, really stood out nicely on top of this creamy beach. And I am pleased as hunch about that okay it's time for close-up guys you got to see this bring in here we have our flash on and you can see my friends the beautiful merging of all of these metallic light colors the bronze the copper the gold the black oh look at the shimmer on top of that we have a silver in there as well. I'm so glad I added that silver. It just really helps it pop. Look at the shimmer on top of that with the gold and copper. Oh my heavens. This is so, so pretty. There's that silver. So nice and rich. There's lacing here as well. There's the bronze. All the way in we see. Look at this. This is unbelievable. You can see all of those clusters of cells with the bronze, the gold, the black. Again, here they are. They're just, just beautiful. And they're going to look totally amazing with a beautiful coat of resin. I love this. There's another set of clusters of cells here. So pretty. That silver almost looks like a blue in there because it's merged with colors that cause for it to give that blue effect. Oh, so pretty. I could not be more pleased with this one, guys. Hope you like it because it is a stunner. Woo-wee. Unbelievable. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that copper and the bronze. Such a great combination together. Well, here you have it. It's a 12 by 24 inch canvas. It has a light sandy beige color base with lots of rich metallic light colors on top and it's formed a awesome design. Let me know what you think in the comments and um, 
Certainly, if you haven't done so, like and subscribe. We gotta have you come along this amazing art journey with us. You don't want to miss this. Click that notification bell because it's going to inform you every single time we have another video upload. And as I've said, we're going to be doing Dutch pours in between other um, acrylic pouring techniques and you don't want to miss out. So thank you for joining me, guys. As always, you're the best and I certainly appreciate your support. Leave a comment and let me know what you think, and we'll see you guys on our next video upload. Until next time, keep loving your art. Thank you for joining me. Bye now. Hi, everyone. This is Anita White, and I'm just sharing with you the dry results of our metallics on this beautiful, rich, creamy beige. They are absolutely gorgeous. You can see it dried beautifully. The silver, the bronze, copper. It's got that iridescent shine. Really, really showing through. The cells are just so, so pretty. There's lacing. And I just truly really believe this piece is going to look so awesome on in its finished form with uh, resin. It's still drying because it's just been a day or so but um wanted to give you a chance to see some of the dry results of this beautiful metallics on this creamy beige piece i'm loving it i'm very pleased with the outcome hope you like it too again this was a 12 by 24 inch canvas and these are the dried results that have come forth as a result of this gorgeous piece. Well, thank you for letting me share with you and appreciate your comments and always I appreciate your I appreciate your support.